Hi, I'm Carl with the Simple Smartphone, and I'm here to help. Today, I want to go over one of my favorite features of the iPhone, the ability to back up your old phone and restore it to your new phone. You have this, and now you want this. But how do you put all your information from your old phone to your new one? Well, it's simple. You're just going to use iTunes to back up your old phone and copy it to the new one. This will let you take all of your contacts, pictures, and even text messages from your old phone to your new one. This way, it's like you never skipped a beat. First things first, you're going to take your charger out of the wall, unplug the data cable, and plug this into your computer. Then you're going to take this end and plug it into your old iPhone. Like so. Once you plug it in, iTunes will launch on your computer. If your computer prompts you to back up your photos, you can go ahead and do that if you want them all saved to your computer. But otherwise, we're about to back up your phone anyway. If iTunes asks you to update the software on your iPhone, click Download Only or Cancel. We don't want to do any software updates until we've backed up the phone. From the iTunes Store page, go ahead and click Library. That will take you to this screen. Now, click iPhone. From the iPhone's home screen, click Backup Now. Once the backup starts, you want to allow it to finish. Don't unplug the phone, don't turn off the computer, any interruption of the backup could cause some serious damage to your phone's software. Once the backup is finished, you'll want to unplug your old iPhone and switch out the cords if necessary for your new phone. For this example, I'm going from the 3GS to the iPhone 5, so I need to switch cables. I'm going to unplug the charger from the old iPhone and plug in the new one for the iPhone 5. If iTunes prompts you to restore your phone from backup, go ahead and select that. Then, choose the appropriate backup from the drop-down menu. If not, select iPhone again. This time, instead of selecting backup, you're going to hit restore. If iTunes prompts you with multiple backups, select the one with today's date. Again, once the restore is started, you don't want to interrupt the process. Any time you unplug the cable or turn off your computer could wind up causing serious software damage to the phone. Once the restore is complete, go ahead and check your new phone to make sure that everything is transferred over. If you're missing any applications or music, you want to make sure it was downloaded under your iTunes account. If not, you'll have to repurchase it, or go back to your old iTunes account and use that login. You will have to re-enter your existing passwords for your email accounts and your phone's lock. I do recommend putting a lock on your phone. That way, if it ever gets stolen or picked up by somebody, they can't access your files or personal information. To set a screen lock on your iPhone, you're going to go to Settings on the phone. Then from there, you'll select General. Then you'll scroll down until you see Passcode Lock. Select that, enter a password, and then make sure to say Immediately. That way, anytime you lock the phone, you'll be required to enter the password before accessing the phone. All right, now everything should be copied from your old phone to your new phone, and you can enjoy your new technology without missing a beat. For more tips, tricks, and other information, feel free to check out my other videos. I'm Carl with the Simple Smartphone, and have a great day. But Carl, now that you've replaced me with a brand new iPhone, what is to become of my future? Well, old iPhone, I'm glad you asked. I can take you down to my local carrier and sell you back. Or, I can use you as an iPod Touch. You'll do everything except make calls and text. Or, I can give you to someone else on my phone plan who'd like to try an iPhone. Really? Really. Oh, boy, I'm useful. Carry on my legacy, Luke.